My name is Elizabeth Mall, and I am the very proud principal of University High School. Welcome to the 2013 University High School Honors Evening. Tonight, we have many distinguished guests who have come to acknowledge and celebrate our students' achievements. Please join me in welcoming our guests. Your presence reaffirms that commitment to excellence in education is highly desirable and valuable and respected. Thank you all for being here this evening. faculty and staff, we honor you tonight as well. These students would not be where they are today without your loving support, guidance, and patience. UHS students, words cannot express the pride that I feel as I stand here this moment. You've taken the knowledge and the wisdom imparted to you and you've unlocked doors of opportunity that will take you to diverse places, expose you to amazing experiences, and will provide you with options that will enable you to lead and to contribute to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2013 has been awarded over $31 million in scholarships and financial aid. You broke the record. This is a direct reflection of your tenacity and dedication to excellence. On this night, You become a part of the UHS tradition. You are evidence that rigorous academic standards, nurturing relationships, and a strong work ethic can lay the world open at your feet. At this moment, you are on a cusp of what will be an adventure that must be lived. I ask that you seize this moment. Make every opportunity count. Use the skills that you have learned from us to move beyond the ordinary and live extraordinary lives that challenge the status quo, make no excuses, and leave no regrets. We, along with your parents and the school community, have started you on this path. It's up to you to continue. So, congratulations, and continue to set high standards for yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> this evening, Ms. Janik and I would like to be the first to present a very special award to an individual who has provided so much support to UHS. He's used his talent of photography to capture the essence of UHS. He is the reason that you see pictures of UH students, UHS students in the TUSD boardroom, on the front of every school in TUSD, and many of the YouTube performances that are great performances that our students do. He believes in UHS. And because of his belief, he has helped us to believe in ourselves and grow. Jess Rubakava, would you please come forward?
for being our knight in shining armor. He does a wonderful job for UHS. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Major Vanessa Schoen to give an appointment to Kenneth McGee Jr. for the U.S. Air Force Academy. sir. Being at the university uh, high school, or yeah, university high school, would, uh, <laughs> would take to get him into the United States Air Force Academy. And I am very proud of him, as you all should be, and his, I know his mother and father are. Um, he has worked to fulfill this goal, and um, as your principal has stated, you will move mountains and you will do things that you never thought you could do. You will do things that you never thought were possible with your life. So. I'm very honored to be able to present this to you. So now on to my speech. <laughs> that wasn't it. Um, it is my pleasure today to represent the United States Air Force and the Director of Mission of Admissions to the United States Air Force Academy, Colonel Carol Beneshek, to present Kenneth McGee Jr. with an Air Force Academy appointment. This appointment is equivalent to being offered a full four-year scholarship to a top-tier university with a value of over $40,000 per year. Appointments to the military academies are highly competitive. KJ competed with more than 9,000 other interested students for admission to the Air Force Academy and is one of approximately 1,190 to receive an offer. He will be joining a select group of students that will train to be the future leaders of your Air Force. During four years at the Air Force Academy, KJ will have the opportunity to participate in many leadership development programs, including flying aircraft, free fall parachuting, and participating in various military training programs and foreign exchange programs around the world. He will pursue a major of his choice in one of 31 academic disciplines ranging from political science to aeronautical engineering. In addition, he will study subjects dealing with Air Force history, military affairs, leadership, and management. While KJ is a cadet, the Air Force will pay a, comp a complete tuition, room and board, and provide a, basic, a monthly basic pay. When KJ graduates from the Air Force Academy, he will earn a Bachelor of Science degree and commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Approximately <laughs> Approximately half of each graduating class will go on to the Air Force Pilot Training Program, and many others will have the opportunity to earn advanced degrees. All graduates will eventually begin working in one of 38 officer career fields in the world's premier air, space, and cyber force. I am extremely proud of Kenneth McGee, Jr. It is a great honor for me to make this presentation and to recognize the years of hard work that have brought, you, brought KJ to this point in his life. Congratulations, the best to you in your future Air Force career. And now I would like to introduce to you the MC for tonight's festivities. She is the Learning Supports Coordinator for UHS and Senior Class Sponsor. Would you please join me in welcoming Carmen Hernandez. Welcome. Before I start the ceremonies, I would like to, uh, first of all, clear up something on, the, on your program. 
Ethan Wilson was inadvertently left off the list of National Merit Finalists in the program. So we want to make sure that we acknowledge that before we started the program. So thank you. If anybody else was uh, it's the same, please make sure that you let us know. Good evening. Tonight's first scholarship presented is the Ajiro Administrative Service Corp Scholarship. The Ajiro Administrative Service Corp is a local automotive service group that looks to contribute to the Tucson community. Scholarships are awarded to a graduating senior that demonstrates the potential to excel academically in their post-secondary studies. This year's recipient is Sabina Pridzik. This is congratulations to Sabina, so all of you guys can recognize her. Next, we have the Alisa Angels Foundation Scholarship. Please welcome a member of Alisa's Angels Foundation, Ms. Danielle Liskey. And I must have mispronounced it. Sorry. <laughs> Renee Conway, come up, please. <laughs> Elisa Michelle Wallendorf was a compassionate, caring teen who unfortunately lost, excuse me, <coughs> lost her life at 15 in an automobile accident. And during her life, she had a strong interest in helping others because that is what you're put on the earth to do. So for the people in her family developed a foundation on her behalf. And so, and, oops, here's the cross. And Renee has won the award this year. It's a scholarship and she has the, the foundation is hoping to see her carry on the spirit of helping others. Foundation is the philanthropic arm of AXA Equitable, directing the company's philanthropic volunteer activities and working to improve the quality of life in communities across the country where AXA has a presence. The AXA Achievement Scholarship is awarded to students who demonstrate ambition and drive, the determination to set and achieve goals, respect for self, family, and community, and have the potential to succeed in college. I am pleased tonight to present the 2013 AXA Achievement Scholarship to Renee Conway. <laughs> Seven years ago, Renee was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. She decided to do more than just accept this diagnosis. She decided to fight back and help her fellow patients. She published her own cookbook, focusing on healthy eating, and then donated all of the proceeds to Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And she is currently writing two more cookbooks for children with diabetes. Again. Congratulations. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Kirsten Cook. And I'm just delighted to be a part of this beautiful evening to honor all of you guys. 
The National Merit Scholars Program identifies students who score above a, t a set percentile on their PSATs. Students that meet this requirement are then afforded the opportunity to compete for a National Merit Scholarship and to become a National Merit Scholar. Tonight, I would like to recognize the National Merit finalists and the National Merit Scholars. We ask that you will be kind and hold all applause until the last name is read. Will the following students please come to the stage to receive their Certificate of Merit from the National Merit Corporation. Mitchell Annery. Marin Bailey. Charles Bow. Zach Bathan. Lindsay Bressler. Samuel Brown. Sophina Clark, Savannah Corbett, Lauren De La Fuente, Jereen Hugh, Thomas Jan, Kendra Knittle, William Lee, Marie McDonough, Jeremiah Nelson, Lee Fom, Julianne Ray, Amanda Robinson, Kyle Saxberg, Drew Sheets, Joshua Vita, and Ethan Wilson. <laughs> and Becca Waller. Let's give them all a big hand. And stay where you are. Please stay with, with you, where you are because three of the students have also received scholarships from the National Merit Corporation, signifying that they have been named National Merit Scholars. The following students should please step forward. Lee Fom, Kendra Knittle, and Thomas Jan. Thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone. And you can go off this side of the stage. What? Well, that that's another little error in the book. Good evening. The National Achievement Scholarships Program identifies African American students who score at or above a set percentile on their PSATs. Students that meet this requirement are then afforded the opportunity to compete for a National Achievement Scholarship through the National Merit Corporation and to become a National Achievement Scholar. Would Asha Esprit and Devin Thomas please come to the stage?
please recognize these young men as National Achievement Finalists. The National Hispanic Recognition Program identifies Hispanic students who score at or above a set percentile on their PSATs. Students that meet this criterion are recognized as National Hispanic Scholars by College Board. These students receive their certificate in the fall at the request of the National Merit Corporation. We would still like to honor these, these scholars this evening. Could I please have the National Hispanic Scholars stand and be recognized as your name is being called. Again, we ask that you hold all applause until the last name is called. Adrian Acosta, Elena Bauer, Lauren De La Fuente, Ana Guerrero, Jose Hernandez, Sarah Jerez, Patrick Lopez, Marcos Luna, James Michioni, Natalia Navarro, Daniela Nunez, Kara Popeski, Anik Regan, Bianca Sierra, Ryan Silva, Nicholas Varela, Lucia Wren, and Alec Pereira. Thank you and congratulations. The Cecilia Avalos Pace Scholarship Award is given to graduating seniors that participate in the Pace program as preschoolers. This year we are honored to present Jose Ruben Bautista as this year's recipient. Please come on stage. Way to go, Ruben. Congratulations, Nico. We cannot move any further in the program without honoring the parents, faculty, and staff that are here tonight. Without you, this night would not be possible. Please give yourself a huge round of applause. Thank you, parents and family. Now, presenting the Education Enrichment Foundation Scholarship will be Mr. Tom Cordell. Good evening, everyone. I'm very pleased to be here to represent the Educational Enrichment Foundation, which serves all of TUSD. And I find myself here for about the third or fourth year in a row to present some scholarships tonight to these wonderful graduates at UHS. We at EEF are very proud of your accomplishments and we congratulate you. The first award that I have for this evening is uh, named for a man who dedicated much of his life to TUSD and its students. This is the Kenneth Paulin Memorial Scholarship and it is presented this evening with my pleasure to Pete Akarele Ali. The next scholarship I have is the Moving Forward Scholarship, 
Each year, the Tucson Federal Credit Union and the Pima Community College Foundation partner with the Educational Enrichment Foundation to present the Moving Forward Scholarship to a select group of TUSD graduating seniors. These scholarships are awarded to students who have overcome adversity while achieving success in high school and have also demonstrated a strong motivation to continue their education. This evening, I am very pleased to present this Moving Forward Scholarship to Devon Springer. Finally, this evening is the award that is very uh, close to my heart, uh, the Funk Cordell Scholarship for Mathematics and Science honors a man who celebrated his high school graduation just over 100 years ago. No, that was not me. <laughs> uh, that man, in fact, was my grandfather. Thanks to some dedicated teachers who secured a scholarship for him, he was able to attend college receive a degree in engineering, and to change his life. Later, through his successful business and his lifelong devotion to public service, he improved the lives of many people in his community. Each year, the Funk Cordell Scholarship is presented to a student who has shown diligence, accomplishment, and promise for a bright future in a field encompassing mathematics or science. In cooperation with the Educational Enrichment Foundation serving TUSD, I am very, very pleased to present this scholarship this evening to Diana Fong. Thank you all very much for having me here this evening, and again, congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you. May I invite James Mendola to come to the stage, please? Since 1981, the National Young Arts Foundation has identified and supported high school age students who excel in the visual, literary, and or performing arts through its Young Arts Talent-Based Scholarship Program. The program, considered by many to be the most prestigious arts competition for young adults in the country, selects its winners through a completely blind judging process and a standard of excellence-based adjudication system. James Mendola was recently named as one of Arizona's five honorable mention winners. Congratulations, James. <laughs> UHS is a college preparatory school that offers over 25 advanced placement courses in our advanced placement program. Students that have earned a score of three or better on three or more AP exams are identified as AP scholars. Will the AP scholars please stand and be recognized? Congratulations. 
Students that have earned a score of three or better on four or more AP exams are identified as AP scholars with honor. Will the AP scholars with honor please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And students who have earned a score of three or better on five or more AP exams are identified as AP scholars with distinction. Will the AP scholars with distinction please stand and be recognized? Amazing. It is now my pleasure to welcome UHS alum and Flint Scholar graduate, Ms. Gabrielle Gabby Lacey. Uh, I'm here tonight to welcome the two newest members of the 2013 class of Flynn Scholars. The Flynn Foundation's mission is to improve the quality of life in Arizona to benefit future generations. Since 1986, the foundation has pursued its mission by supporting Arizona's most promising young adults through the Flynn Scholarship. From 653 applicants this year, the Flynn Scholars program chose 20 Arizona high school seniors with extraordinary academic credentials, intellectual curiosity and passion, and leadership in school and civic communities. Partnering with Arizona's three public universities, the scholarship provides tuition, room, board, funding for study and travel abroad, opportunities to engage in research and internships, and more. The award's value exceeds $100,000. Another important benefit of the Flynn Scholarship is a, is a welcome into the vibrant community of more than 500 current and alum Flynn Scholars. Extraordinary people for, drawn from throughout Arizona and representing virtually every field of interest, the Flynn Scholars program this year is delighted to welcome UHS graduates May Lynn Osana and Ethan Wilson to our community. Thank you, Gabby. Honors Night is one of my favorite nights of the year. It offers the opportunity, I can't see, to see an amazing culmination of what four years at University High School offers. I am in awe. Please welcome the Phi Beta Kappa Association representative, Don Durkowitz. Good evening, my name is Dan Jerkowitz. I am a UHS alumnus and a proud member of Phi Beta Kappa. Phi Beta Kappa is the nation's oldest academic honor society, founded in 1776. It celebrates and advocates for excellence in the liberal arts and sciences and recognizes the most outstanding students at America's leading colleges and universities. Members include 17 US presidents, 38 Supreme Court justices, and 138 Nobel laureates. The Phi Beta Kappa Alumni Association of Greater Tucson raises funds to recognize outstanding high school and college students. Please join me in recognizing tonight Arthur Plett, Brooke Tufel, Jessica Ruiz, and Jemmy Yao.
Thank you. Now, please welcome the Director of Mexican American Student Services, Dr. Maria Figueroa, who will be presenting the President's Education Excellence Award. Good evening, parents. Oh, good evening, parents, students. Um, the Mexican American Studies uh, Student Services uh, Department is welcome. Seeing all of our families and our students and we want to congratulate them for their excellence, especially here at University High School. I would like to read to you first a letter from the President of the United States. These certificates were printed at the White House, especially for the following students. I will first mention the, uh, the certificates for the uh, 4.0 students, and then thereafter I will give you the names. And if students, if you can please come up to receive your certificates for all students receiving a 3.5 GPA and above for the first three quarters of this school year. The letter states, please accept my congratulations on receiving the President's Education Award. I am pleased to join your family, friends, and teachers in recognizing this tremendous achievement. Nothing will have a greater impact on your success and the success of our nation than the knowledge and skill you gain in the classroom. Your future is in your hands. As long as you stay focused on your studies, there is not a single thing you cannot accomplish. By earning this award, you have shown the discipline and drive to excel academically, and I encourage you to carry those qualities forward in all that you do. Congratulations again. I applaud the example you set for students across the country, and I wish you all the best for the years ahead. Barack Obama. May 16th, we, we um, gave the following um, recognition to our students, our 4.0 students, uh, and we gave them the silver award, presidential award. I decided to send all the gold presidential award to the sites, to the schools, because I felt that students needed to be recognized in front of their families and friends. For 4.0, and let me read what the certificate say. It says, President's Education Awards Program, Award for Educational Achievement, President, and then the name the, for the student's name, and it says, in recognition of outstanding academic achievement, um, President of the United States, Barack Obama, uh, Mexican American Student Services, Tucson Unified School District. And then it, there's my signature, because I really do honor those students that tried so hard and worked so hard. In, in our case here, you have put all your efforts, not only from kindergarten on up, but your entire um, school career, and we admire you for that tonight. For 4.0 student receiving the silver award, Elena Bauer. Kara <laughs> Kopeski. <laughs> Ryan Silva. Now for the president's gold of uh, silver uh, gold awards. Flowers. Sorry. Okay. Um, and now for the gold uh, presidential awards, Tess Barrett. <laughs> James Barley Fuentes. Bauer. 
Lucinda Brunenkamp. Alyssa Clark. Lauren De La Fuente. Ana Guerrero. Jose Hernandez. Sarah Jerez. Kevin Lang. Natalia Navarro. Sofia Ochoa. Alec Barrera. Joshua Pishki. Kara Popeski. Juliana Provencio. Anique Regan. Jalisa Reese. Ryan Silva. <laughs> Emilia Zamora. Boys and girls, you are very deserving of the Presidential Award, and I do encourage you to continue using this um, acknowledgement in the future. Mention it in your endeavors and place it in your portfolio, please. Thank you for your hard work and effort. take me off stage, I do have a little surprise for your principal and for three students tonight. I sit on the Arizona Hispanic School Administrators Association Board. I have sat on that board for 10 years. Um, under this new role that I play in TUSD, I encourage several of our counselors and all of our employees in our department to assist students in TUSD to apply for a $500 scholarship uh, for the Arizona Hispanic School Administrators Association. We give 10 of these scholarships every year to 10 deserving students. Students must write an essay, must uh, achieve a GPA of 2.75 and above, and recognize the fact that they are Latinos and very proud of it. I read over 80 essays, and we have 80 applicants that applied this year from all over the state of Arizona. 32 of those students came from TUSD. Of the 10 scholarships, TUSD took five of them. And I'm very proud to say that you have three students here tonight, I'm hoping they're here tonight, from University High School that took three of those five scholarships from TUSD. Um, I will give you their names. I do not have a certificate for them as I just received the news yesterday. But I do know that they will be receiving uh, uh, money directly from uh, Arizona Hispanic School Administrators Association in the amount of $500.
So congratulations, boys and girls. I will now mention all of the names uh, of the different schools throughout Arizona that, that um, won. It was Matthew Arenas from Tolleson Unified School District, um, Elaina Espinosa from Rincon High School. I know a lot of you might know her. Itati Garcia from Maricopa High. Stephanie Gonzalez from Phoenix Union High. Um, Annette Lopez from Pueblo High School. And Erin Mahuta from University High School. Please stand so I can see who you are. And then I would like to speak to your parents tonight, if possible, if they're here, uh, just to give you some contact. You pr I'm not sure if parents have been notified yet. Uh, we were told that they would be calling them uh, today. Um, Tolleson, uh, Victor Mena, one from Tolleson uh, School District in Phoenix area. Uh, Helisa Reese, was another winner from University High for $500. And Bianca Sierra from University High. Bianca Sierra. Congratulations, boys and girls. And congratulations, teachers and counselors from um, University High School. Thank you. Way to go, guys. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Assistant Principal Amy Sislak. Hello and congratulations, seniors. What an exciting night. The Ray Davies Student Service Award recognizes and celebrates the community service and volunteer hours of youth. We are so fortunate to have a student body that is filled, literally filled with students who freely give up their time within the school community as well as within the Tucson community. But tonight I'd like to recognize a special individual. Would you please help me in recognizing Jamie Vale as a Ray Davies Student Service Honoree. Jamie, will you please stand and be recognized. Congratulations, Jamie. At this time, please welcome University High School Librarian, Beth Malaponis. Hello. Tonight I have the esteemed honor of presenting the Cheryl Erlinger Milo Scholarship. Cheryl Erlinger Milo was a dedicated educator who taught history and philosophy at UHS from the early 80s until her death in 1996. Through the Tucson Foundation, her family established a scholarship in her name to honor a graduating UHS senior who plans to pursue a career in education. This year, I am honored to present this scholarship to two future educators. The first one is Lucinda Brunenkant. And the second is Stephanie Carver. member Deanna McDonald. It is my distinct pleasure and honor to be able to award the Dr. Simone Jacobson Award on behalf of the UHS Math Department. Simone was a math teacher here at this school when I was a math teacher at another school. She was a statistics teacher, and it's because of her that I am a statistics teacher. She, <laughs> she gave me the confidence to take on a course that very few people, and at the time only two of us in the entire Southern Arizona taught. Her dedication was such that she taught even while being treated for cancer. And in fact, she lost her life before she could complete the year. She had many interests. She was a quilter, as I am. 
although I was a quilter first. <laughs> the two students that we're honoring this year represent Simone's dedication to excellence as well as her divergent interests, giving 110% of, of themselves to all their activities. They maintain their excellent academic standing while being active in their school community. They are both genuinely kind, caring individuals. Tonight, we would like to honor Patrick Lopez and Zemo Han. According to Mr. Eichelberger, Zemo's first language is Chinese, but he's pretty sure that his second language is mathematics. <laughs> I'm Bonnie Clark, and um, I'm representing the University High School Foundation and Alumni Association. And we are giving a scholarship, one-time scholarship, to the recipients for uh, for two hundred dollars. We also want to acknowledge that Mr. Jacobson is here tonight. Thank you so much for being here with us, Mr. Jacobson. Now presenting the UHS Penguinicity Award, please welcome UHS Foundation Board Member, Ms. Bonnie Clark. Good evening. The UHS Penguinicity Award is given annually to the graduating senior who best represents University High School's core values and standard of excellence in education. Not only does this student exemplify academic excellence as a national merit finalist, for the past four years, this student has served students and UHS in general through thousands of volunteer hours with the stage crew and as an unofficial engineer and consummate problem solver for the administration, faculty, staff, and parents literally being on call at all times of the day and night to come and save us. This year, it is with great honor that I present the Penguinicity Award to Samuel Brown. Thank you, Bonnie Clark and Samuel. Thank you so much for even helping me again to, tonight when we were doing that in the cafeteria. I had to pick on you one last time. Thank you. <laughs> Please welcome Tucson Education Office Professionals Organization President, the one and only Veronica Dorian. a different hat tonight. I'm not asking for money. I'm actually going to give some. So, um, my organization is called the Tucson Education of Office Professionals, and what we are is a group of women who raise money for Tucson Unified School District scholarships. We are classified employees, and some of us work 10, some of us work 12-month jobs. Our dedication is to raise this money to make sure that our all students know that there's a way to get a higher education other than just getting good grades. It's very important, but creativity also plays a huge role. So recently in January, we asked students throughout the community of Tucson Unified School District to write a 250 plus word essay on basically what has been the most thing that has stood out in your educational process the last K through 12 years. 
And I have to tell you, oh, this, this person who wrote this um, essay was a very big topic of conversation for two months because the essay was so well written, it was so creative, and it had us in stitches at every meeting because we couldn't go back and wonder, I wonder where this kid will be in 10 years. So it's our great pleasure to award Samuel Winston with the Toast on Educational Office Professions Award. about his pig experiment. <laughs> it wasn't you. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetheart. Well job. Upon the passing of Dot and Worth Howard, a foundation was created in order to continue to give to the community of scholars and the community at large. Dot wanted to create a scholarship fund to feed the hungry and feed minds. The Worth and Dot Howard Foundation became a supporting organization of the Community Foundation for Southern Arizona and it funds an annual scholarship program. The foundation has the pleasure of annually giving about 100 grand in college scholarships to deserving Arizona youth. The scholarships are renewable annually through graduate school. May I have Liam Haviv come, may I have him come to the stage, please? <laughs> Liam is one of 27 students in Arizona who have been awarded a scholarship from the Worth and Dot Scholarship Foundation for the 2012-2013 school year. Please welcome the Zachary, uh, Zachary Zazueta Music Memorial Foundation Scholarship Representatives. Good evening, my name is Devin. Good evening, my name is Devin Encinas, and I'm here this evening to give out the Zachary Sesueta Memorial Music Scholarship. In 2002, we lost an extraordinary young man to a senseless act of violence. Zachary Sesueta was an amazing son, brother, friend, and artist. Zach's passion was music. His dreams of sharing the gift with the world were backed by his efforts and commitment to pushing himself to be the best he could be. In that same spirit, his loved ones have decided to honor him by furthering the musical talent and efforts of other youth, as well as students wishing to further their education to better themselves. So in his memory, his loved ones, his love for the arts will live on. This foundation was set up to honor Zachary Sesueta. Zach was an amazing young man with a bright future ahead of him. He spent endless hours writing and producing in studios, at home, and anywhere he could put his pen to paper. He was taken from this world too soon, but this scholarship hopes to brighten the lives of all who shared his spirit of dreaming big and dedication to hard work. Zach was an avid songwriter, songwriter, poet, and rapper. Music played a critical role in his life, and through him you saw the power he had to mold young people. The scholarship fund hopes to award students who share the same drive and introduce many more to the power of music. The scholarship was established in 2004. Since then, we have been able to award over $14,000 in scholarships to graduating seniors who further their education. We've given to elementary schools such as Davis's um, mariachi program, Gadio's music department, and Pueblo High School's mariachi program. At this time, we would like to award, um, I have Zach's mom here with me, and she'll be awarding Julian Cardenas with a $500 um, scholarship. If you could please come up. <laughs>
I know that this was mentioned already in Mrs. Mall's welcome. However, I believe that it deserves another mention. You guys, this graduating class has been offered over $31 million in scholarships. How much? Over $31 million. Come on. Where else? That is absolutely amazing. Do we just give them, all parents, everyone, a round of applause? I am now pleased to introduce, and I am sure that the seniors will agree, the world's best advanced placement psychology teacher. <laughs> Master level psychologist Adam Lass. Please join me in welcoming him, Mr. Lass. What? 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 <laughs> Stop. Good evening. Congratulations, seniors. Um, I've been asked to present two awards tonight. The first is the Dr. Voy Stewart Chase Coy Scholar Athlete Activity Award. Uh, it's presented to students that are activity participants, a member of a varsity athletic team, uh, or a participant of an AIA-sanctioned activity, and earns a 3.5 GPA for the first semester in both uh, semesters of their sport or activity. Could we please have all these scholar-athletes stand and be recognized, please? Congratulations. I've also been asked tonight to award the Superintendent's Cup. The TUSD Superintendent's Cup honors top high school athletes across the district. Every TUSD high school nominates their top female and male athlete. During the 2013 ceremony, Kendra Knittle was selected as the Rincon University Top Female Athlete of the Year. And Ryan Silva was selected as TUSD's top student athlete of the year. We'd like to recognize Ryan and Kendra tonight, and if you could please come up to the stage, congratulations. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for having me. My name is Drew Rosenthal. I'm here representing the University of Arizona and the Wildcats. Uh, I'd first like, thank you. Thank you. Uh, first like to take a moment and just congratulate everyone in the class of 2013. So congratulations, everybody. So uh, for all those attending the University of Arizona, if y'all could please rise. Uh, we'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishments in the classroom, in your academics, on uh, your extracurriculars. my distinct pleasure to welcome you to our Wildcat family in the class of 2017. Uh, we're so excited to welcome you this fall and uh, to conclude, uh, share something with you. It's called Shaking the Keys. You'll do it kind of like this and that's to start every uh, football game at home. So kind of to kick off your, your first football game to get you excited about the start of your school year, freshman year, uh, I want to leave you with that. So congratulations and bear down. Present, uh, excuse me, let me get my notes out. <laughs> uh, 
those who do not know me, I've been on campus for 11 years uh, here at Rincon and now for university this year as a student family mentor. And uh, I was asked to welcome the Arizona State University Sun Devils that will be coming, becoming the class of 2017 because I am a 1971 graduate of Arizona State University. I don't tell a lot of people because everybody doesn't like when we're in gold here. <laughs> <laughs> so would the members, the students who will be going to Arizona State University, please stand in the class of 2013. Go Sun Devils. Congratulations. There is certainly an honor presenting this next group of um, scholars. As an NAU alum, I, I am proud to recognize the graduating Lumberjacks of 2017. At this time, I would like to have all Lumberjacks or NAU uh, students please stand so we can recognize you. No pressure, but I expect you to take over the world. <laughs> Congratulations. Love you guys. In academia, the Greek letter mu is often used to signify honor. Students who held a grade point average of 3.85 or above at the end of their seventh semester and who also earned an award of distinction in three of the seven academic disciplines will graduate with a university high school honors endorsement. In the program book that each graduating senior received this evening, those students have been identified with the letter mu next to their name. Each will receive an honors endorsement certificate along with their diploma at graduation. But I would like to read their names to you now. Please hold your applause until I have asked all of the students to stand who have earned the honors endorsement these past four years. Adrian Acosta, Mitchell Honorey, Marin Bailey, Charles Bow, Zachary Bathan, Elena Bauer, Megan Berry, Lindsay Bressler, Samuel Brown, Nicholas Bruno, Alina Burke, Sophina Clark, Shensi Dai, I can't say it. Kara Darland, Lauren De La Fuente, Jennifer Dutton, Bryn Donnelly, Joshua Every, Anna Guerrero, David Hahn, Zemo Hahn, Liam Haviv, Jose Hernandez, Locke Ho, Jereen Hu, Thomas Jan. Barnes Januzzi, Sara Jerez, Kendra Knittle, Kevin Lang, Emily Lauer, I'm going to ruin your rhythm, guys, watch out, <laughs> William Lee, Ariana Manson, Michelle Margie, Amelia Marsh, Daniel Martin, Marie McDonough, Rebecca Mercer, Melina Miller, <laughs> Jeremiah Nelson, <laughs> Maylin Osana, <laughs> Lee Fong, <laughs> Arthur Platt, <laughs> Kara Popeski, <laughs> <laughs> Juliana Provencio, <laughs> Julianne Ray, <laughs> Anique Gregan, <laughs> Amanda Robinson, <laughs> Kyle Saxberg, <laughs> Drew Sheets, <laughs> Ryan Silva, <laughs> Matthew Sybertson, Misha Tenser, Jamie Vale, Rebecca Waller, Karen Wang, 
Ethan Wilson, Samuel Winston, Jimmy Yao, and Josh Yell. Congratulations. And now I would like to reintroduce our wonderful principal, Ms. Elizabeth Mull. Okay, seniors, I have a question for you. Thursday morning, what time are you to be at Centennial Hall? <laughs> Mr. Hernandez, what time do they need to be there? Be there by 7.45. Eight o'clock, be in line. 7.45, 745. not one minute late. All right. Lots of wonderful awards tonight. We're all very, very proud of you. And with all good things, we know that they come to an, an, an end. All the awards have been given, but the rewards are up to you. Make it happen. Seniors, as you leave tonight, as you leave UHS, you take with, with you our love, respect, and best wishes. Thank you, and may your future be worthy of your dreams. We love you. Thursday morning.